fifth APEC summit in Da Nang, Vietnam, came to an end over the weekend with 21 leaders endorsing a joint declaration. Now, that document sets a way forward for free trade and economic integration. And South Korean President Moon Jae-in had some influence on that agenda and the outcome of the forum. Our Hwang Ho-jun tells us more. At the end of the day, all 21 leaders were smiling during the family photo session. But during the 25th Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Summit on Saturday, with its theme of creating new dynamism, fostering a shared future, sharp divisions among the leaders were apparent. Open and free trade versus protectionism, the latter strongly supported by U.S. President Donald Trump. The leaders ultimately adopted a communique that stated their commitment to fight protectionism by the year 2020 and to promote free trade and closer regional ties, largely brushing aside Trump's America First policy. Nevertheless, President Trump's views were still reflected in the so-called Da Nang Declaration, which committed member states to fighting both unfair trade practices and market-distorting subsidies.